Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see different file opening modes in C++ programming language. In previous video, we have seen some file opening modes and also we have seen how to use them, right? In this program, here you can see, here we are using out mode, right? Then here we are using out mode along with trunk mode. Then next program, here we are using in mode, that is for the input purpose. Right, where we are using these modes, so see, we are passing it as a parameter to the open function. Right, here we are mentioning name of the file, and as these are provided by the iOS class, so here we have to mention name of the class, scope resolution operator, and these bits. Right, we have to mention that variable name. So, see, these are the different file opening modes in C programming language. In this video, we will see all types of file opening mode. So look at this. So already some modes we have seen in previous videos. So again we will revise. First mode is in. So see, this in mode opens the file to read. So to open file in input mode, we have to use this mode in. Now see, when we are using class ifstream, so this is the default mode. Next mode is out. It is used to open file in output mode or it opens file for the writing purpose. When we use class OF stream, so this is the default mode. Then next mode is app. It also stands for append. So see, it opens the file and appends all the outputs at the end. So see, it will open file and whatever the new thing that we will write in that file, so that will be put at the end of the file. So whatever the text is already there, so that text will be as it is and new text will be written at the end of the file. Okay. Then next mode AT. Look at this. It opens the file and moves the control to the end of the file. So see, normally when we open any file, so file pointer is kept at the front of the file, right at the beginning. But when we are using this mode AT, so file pointer will be at the end of the file. Next mode is trunk. So see, it removes the data in the existing file. What is the meaning of this? See, if we open any file and some data is already there, so that data will get removed and new data will be written into that file. See, again I am repeating. When we use append mode or AWP mode, so see, that existing data will be as it is and new data will be written at the end of the file, right? But when we use trunk mode, so existing data will get removed and new data will be written from the beginning of the file. So that is the use of trunk mode. Then no create mode. From the name only you will come to know. No create. That means it will not create new file. It will open file only if already exists. See. Opens the file only if it already exists. So if file is already there. So then only it will open the file. If file is not there, so it will give error message. Now see, next mode, no replace. It is just opposite to no create. So see, it will open the file only if it does not already exist. So see, if file does not exist, then only it will open the file. So it will create new file and then it will open. So see, it is just opposite to no create. Next mode is binary mode. So see, it is used to open any file in binary mode. See, if we are not using binary mode, then file is opened in text mode. What do you mean by text mode? Whatever data that we are writing in file, that will be in the form of characters. But when we are using binary mode, so that data type of data will be preserved. What is the meaning of this? See, integer data will be written as an integer in that file. And when we read that, so also it will read as an integer. When we are writing any decimal point values or double values into the file, so data type will be preserved. Values will be written as a double values or decimal point values. And when we read that values from the file, so it will read it as a decimal point values or double values. So data type will be preserved when we open file in binary mode. So that is the advantage of binary mode. In next video, we will see in detail how to use binary mode. So we will meet in next video. Thank you.